everyone, and welcome back to Wicked Art. It's Wicked here, and today is Tiny Tuesday, and I figure we would draw one of uh, Ben Ten's many little transformation creatures he turns into um, a heat blast. So we're going to start with the head. So it's almost like uh, a cat shape. Uh, at least the first part, because we're going to have to kind of divide this up into different sections to make it look like a skull a little bit. So we're going to have to, because we're going to make the head turn, so we're going to have to kind of curve it up more. And we'll bring this around for the eyes. So see how we have that kind of separation right there? That's how we're going to draw that part. So let's come back over here to this side so we can keep things a little bit even. So let's kind of draw that out. And we'll kind of curve that up that way. And we'll bring this down into the face. Like that. And then all we have to do is just draw the lower jaw. Right down in here. So we can just kind of curve that back. Like that. Think of it almost like a downward arrow. Okay, so what I'm going to do, just save me some time, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to refine those lines, which is essentially just me tracing back over it and make it a little less uh, sketchy looking and be nice and solid right there. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is uh, establish the flames around the head. So let's go ahead and we're going to kind of curve this up. And once we reach the eye, we're going to kind of come out a little bit. And kind of go out. And again, I like to keep things even. So let's curve this out over here like that and just kind of curve so we're just kind of making little curve points um, to establish the flame look to it it might be a bit too sharp let's go kind of rounded like that And then we can just curve that back. Let's come back over here. Kind of curve that in. And go that way. Okay. So now I'm going to kind of come up. And make a little flame. Take that out. Come back in. Again, let's just kind of keep things even. Go up and kind of curve this way. And we can stop our flame right there. And just connect it like that. Okay. So now I can come back here and we can start working out the body. Now, again, the body is kind of sectioned off too. So we're going to start right here with the kind of collar area. I'm going to take that down and turn this way. But then right here in the center of the face, we want to kind of, it's almost like a magma lava rock kind of thing with the way it's split. So we're going to kind of draw that down in there like that. And we'll take this out. Let's come up here closer to the flame. And we'll just 
round that off. I'm going to go ahead and solidify that line. Okay, so now we want to get the chest piece area. So we're going to start right next to this line here. We're going to come out and kind of curve down with it like that. Um, let's kind of go from here like this. Okay, because uh, this version of Ben 10 is from the time frame that I checked it out. So it's a little bit, uh, I mean, it's still stylized, but it's a uh, more sharp points and things on it. So I'm going to draw the chest piece here. like that. Then we want to put the symbol on the chest there. Another little like triangle right in there. Okay. Then we're going to come down below so like it's like our chest is extending down to here. So we're going to kind of come out and almost think of it like lightning. We're going to kind of come out this way. Bring it out a little bit more. And then we're going to curve up. Okay. I'm going to stop there for now. I'm going to come back up here to this area. And we're going to draw the shoulder out. just like that. And then what I can do is I can start here at this line and we can kind of help shape the shoulder like that there. Again, kind of getting that uh, magma look. All right. And then I can come in here, draw that down to the arm. And come down that way. And we can come across right here. And we'll use that for our arm. So it's going to curve like this, right off the arm there. And then we'll bring that down for the bicep. Okay, and then we're going to split it again. Come out. Let's kind of lengthen this a little bit. It's looking a little too skinny. like that there okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take from this point here we can kinda just curve a line down and then from here we can kinda extend it out and then we'll bring in our shape and just round that at the elbow Okay, and then right inside of here, extend that out a little bit more, and we'll add another little kind of a hot magma shape in here. Just like that. And we can kind of come out. Draw ourselves another shape right here. Just like that. Okay, right inside of here. Put another shape in there. And the rest of it's going to be kind of like a flame look. 
So we're going to have some really sharp edges right in here. We can just use that for like the uh, the shape of the hand. Let's bring that more in an angle this way. And we can curve that out. And that will be one finger and then we can come out with the rest of the hand. And just connect that there. Put one more little piece right in here. Like that. Alright, so now we can work on the body for this part. So we'll make a little tiny connection here. And we'll just run that even. Like that there. And we'll just kind of angle out the body. And we'll come down. Bring that up. Again, we can make a slight connection here and essentially just go around it, just keeping it parallel to the body. All right? So now let's work out, let's kind of sharpen this right here. Okay, so now let's work out a leg. We'll just kind of stretch that out this way. Do the same thing here. We'll kind of curve a little and stretch that down. And make a piece of the leg there. And kind of have that want to leave a gap so we'll kind of have that go back and connect in there curve that out make that longer and we'll stretch this out and connect that right in there okay and then from there I can just kind of round a small piece down come out this way And just connect all that in there like that and then the rest of the foot is just going to be flame and the reason why I keep saying that is so if you ever want to color it you have an idea of what it should look like so I'll take that out Alright, so that takes care of that side. So now let's come down this way. The other leg. Kind of come up and then go out. We'll have a small connection here. And since we're seeing most of this from the front, we won't have too many dis uh, divides in it. So we're going to kind of angle and curve. And we're going to curve this way. Like that. And then we'll have another piece. Right in here, like that. And then again, the rest of this will be flame coming down this way.
and we'll just curve that around for the toes. Just kind of extend that just a little bit. Another piece in here. Okay, and now we just need to do the other arm. So if we just kind of come up here to the flame, we can angle that out. Just like that there. And we can get another divide put in here. Like that, so like all these gaps in here, those would all get colored like a yellow, uh, fiery color of your choosing if you want to color it. And then come off our arm here. Again, I can kind of just do a split right here. kind of connect that okay and then we'll do a cool little like flame uh, effect with the hand so as we take that out we're gonna come out with the finger like that and then just to make it look like it's on fire we're not going to connect it so we're just going to leave it open like this so same how we have our fingers there um, kind of turn we want it to look like he's kind of gripping like that. And then we can come from right here. And just adjust the wrist that way. Now what I want to do is we're going to come down right here. And we're going to put in a flame around the hand. And we'll come across the hand like that. Okay, so now we're almost done. What we're going to do now is we're going to add in like a secondary edge to it so that you could add red or orange or whatever you decide to go with. that down that way and then we'll make this part uh, come out from here okay and then up here in the head we can do the same thing kind of come up and make our secondary flame shapes Like that there, we could put a couple 
little flame pieces sparking off. Right in there, just to give it that kind of flame look. Okay, so now to kind of finish up the image, just so um, it's just something that I like to do is have those thick edges. I'm just going to go around the picture. And we're just going to thicken up just the outside edge, just to make it stand out a little bit more. Um, but while we're doing that, if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, um, and you want to see more of, of Ben 10 or just anything in general, do me a favor and leave me a comment. Um, I've said this several times before. This channel is for the viewer. It's not for myself. I love teaching people and showing people steps on how to draw different things. So just do me a favor and leave a comment and let me know what you either thought of the image or what you want to see me draw next. And it doesn't have to be for um, Tiny Tuesdays. Uh, you can do it for... Um, you know, the Fun Draw Friday videos, uh, Digital Wednesdays, Monday Art Lessons, whatever you want to do. You just let me know down in the comments. Um, like I said, it, it obviously it helps the channel, but I'm more concerned about um, getting you the content that you would like to see, you the viewer. And you're the ones who are responsible for what I create by leaving comments. If you leave comments, I will always respond back and I will base this channel off of what you want to see. And it's only helpful to me if you do that, because other than that, I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and just winging and drawing random things. Um, and I do appreciate all those new subscribers that we have gained. Uh, like I said, I used to be an art teacher after I got out of the military, and I love teaching and having students to teach how to draw. So, I would appreciate it if our class just continues to grow. I love seeing people's work. Um, I have a Twitter account at WickerArt5 that you can share your work with me if you followed along and want to share your work. I would love to see it. I love seeing my students' work. It's very uh, awesome to see and watch how much people grow as artists. Um, and you'll get no, you know, same column for me, just from the sam the standpoint that you know, art is subjective. It's not something that you know has to be perfect. I mess up all the time on stuff. I'm sure you might see some of my older videos where some of my drawings look a little, Ugh, but at least I'm finishing the project and moving on. And same thing with you is something can always be learned or gained from it. Now, obviously, if you're pursuing a career professionally, you want your stuff to look good, but if you're just drawing for fun or, you know, doing your own style or a thing with, like, a manga or a comic book, it can seriously be in the style that you want it to be. And that's what I like to impress upon uh, my students here is, you know, just always finish your project. You know, don't just give up on it because it doesn't look good because there's something you can do when it's done is you can look at it and just tell different things that you need to work on and get better at okay so you can see why I did that you can see how this is all uh, popping out a little bit more now usually I don't do anything on the inside and that's usually 99.9% .9 of the time but in this one instance, just because I really want uh, the head to stand out more, I am going to do this same uh, thickening of the line around the skull. 
on the inside just because I want it to stand out more. I want the focus uh, to start in the center of the face, so I'm going to bring that out more. So I'm just going to go around the skull real quick. And you can see it just makes it stand out against the flame a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I do have this little bit of negative space in here. It won't take that long. But like I said, I really appreciate you stopping by. I really appreciate those of you who stuck with the video and actually went through and drew along. Um, but that is going to do it for our Tiny Tuesday video of our Heat Blast Ben 10 drawing. Uh, like I said, I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button so you can get some more lessons. Um, if not, I appreciate you just stopping by anyway. To those of you who are uh, still subscribed, I appreciate you. And until next time, remember to keep sketching, and I'll see you in the next one, all right? Bye.